Hey guys, Antonio here with some more Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goldman. Today we're going to be talking about sadness and how to overcome sadness properly. Um, this is part of all of our negative emotions and how we're overcoming them. I did anger and anxiety and worry. Now we're going to talk about sadness. So, when sadness comes, mentally we tend to close down. We give up on our interests and pleasures. Um, we tend to affix attention on what we lost. And physically, what we tend to do is we can't sleep because we're having bad dreams a lot of times. Uh, we're lifeless. You walk around like a, a zombie all the time. You can't focus on things. Um, you have a lack of memory, not being able to remember things you used to remember previously. And your anxiety is so high. Um, so... No one wants to feel this way, right guys? So today we're gonna to talk about how to overcome that. Um, and I'm sure you've all been at a point where you're sad in your life and you felt at least some of these things, if not all of them, because I know I sure have. Um, so the best way to combat this is with socializing. What, normally what people tell you to do is like, or what people think the right thing to do is, is I need to stay at home, I need to sit down and focus on, um, I need to sit down and just feel like dive into my feelings and feel the way I'm feeling. And no, that's so wrong. Absolutely not. Do not do that. Crying does not help this situation. If only it's very temporary type of thing to release the emotion and then you overcome it after the crime. What ends up happening is, is people stay inside. They keep ruminating on their thoughts and this builds on the, the inability of and of not being able to sleep, no mental focus, fixating attention on what is lost and not how to overcome it. Um, so combat it with socializing by um, doing things like reading and surrounding yourself by uplifting material, watching YouTube videos that are uplifting, that kind of thing, watching a funny movie or watching a comedy skit to make you laugh, um, watch an exciting sport or play an exciting sport, get some solid, strong, um, focused exercise, take a hot bath, eat some of your favorite foods, listen to some of your favorite music, have sex with your partner, um, s have small triumphs of success. Um, I, this one specifically is something that I can relate to is when I'm not feeling like I'm being productive, I might feel a little sad. And what I'll try to do is do something that I've been putting off for a long time that is really, really small, make my goal as small as possible, something that I can get done in like five, 10 minutes. Do it and that will help me get over a little bit of the sadness that I had and that will make me be like, hmm, that was only five, 10 minutes, like I can do more. Once I start, that is usually the problem and the sadness is usually what stops you from doing that. Also praying, um, helping other people and comparing yourself to people that have a worse situation than you are all techniques that you can use to get yourself out of this sadness situation. But that won't heal the problem. Socializing and all these things won't actually heal the problem. What will though is taking time to think about the thoughts that you have, right? Att giving attention to them, but not just simply focusing on them and not doing anything with it. Focusing on them and challenge them. Think of the positive side of what happened. Um, and the best example they give here that I could give back to you guys is when they talk about uh, relationships. A lot of times when you break up with someone, you might think that you start thinking of all the good things about that person. Um, damn, uh, like I really enjoyed when we do this together or I really enjoyed the way that person had a great sense of humor or um, I bonded so well with that person. Um, but a lot of times there's a real reason why the relationship ended. So you need to think and challenge the, all those positive thoughts you had by saying, was this per person really that perfect for me? Um, I didn't really enjoy when they, when they yelled at me every single night when I came home from work or I really didn't enjoy when they bothered me when I wanted to go out with my friends. Um, those, when you change, change your focus from all the good things that that person had over to the negative things that the person had, you start, your mindset starts slowly changing towards, I'm okay with this breakup. I'm okay with this situation. And I'm actually happy that this happened. Um, 
So you can do that in any other way. Challenge the thoughts that you had, focus on them, challenge them, and think the positive side. But to get yourself out of it, focus on this uplifting stuff here. Um, and then just one last tip is men tend to, to deal with depression by using drugs or alcohol or substances or gamble and stuff like that to overcome it because they are more afraid of facing the emotion head on. And women, on the other hand, are more likely to be depressed than men simply because they are more in tune with their emotions a lot of the times. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video on sadness. Um, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Guys, um, leave me a comment down below if you like me to give you the notes that I have. It's a lot more in depth than here for each individual section. Um, actually, if you leave me your email down low, I will share the notes to you. Um, if you if you comment down low, like the video, and um, I will then share the notes with you that I have for this book on Google Drive, actually. So, uh, also guys, subscribe and have a wonderful day.